Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create campaigns inside of MailerLite. Now, if you don't know what MailerLite is, MailerLite is an email marketing platform that you can use to automate your emails out to your lists. And I've done a couple videos on this already, so if you wanna check out my channel and you can see that there's some other videos in there, I've got the playlist right there for you. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get into it today. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations. Don't try to stop me, I exist to write your story. I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory, yeah. Don't want a life that is complacent or... All right, welcome back. And we're gonna go right into this and I'm gonna show you how to create campaigns in MailerLite. So here we are on my dashboard and you can see I just sent an email a few minutes ago. It's already got a couple people opening it and a click even, or it looks like one click right away maybe. And so what I'm going to do is show you how to create a campaign here. Now on the dashboard, you can create a campaign right from here. You can click create and you can go create the campaign create a form, create an automation, create a site. You can do all these things right here, or you can go over to the left side and you can click on campaigns. Now in here, you're gonna see, I've got a couple emails that went out and you can see I'm in the middle of my testing. So I've sent out a couple already just to test some different things with some of my stuff that I was working on. Now I've got a little bit more that I'm sending to and I'm getting some more opens here and I'm building up to seeing how well the deliverability is with MailerLite, which I will be doing a video on this once I've gone through at least a good month or two of testing and I'll do a review. So watch out for that. But in here, you can click on create campaign and it's gonna take you right to the create campaign page. Now this is where you're just gonna name your campaign and it gives you some options too. So first of all, we're just gonna name it and we're gonna put, um, we're just gonna put YouTube video campaign. And then you have the option of a regular campaign. You can do an AB split. So you could send two variations if you wanted to. An RSS campaign is automatically sending new content from like a website or a blog out to other people or you can do an auto resend, which basically what that will do is it'll do the one email, but it'll do two different times. So essentially you'll send it out and then it'll automatically resend it within a specific time interval. And then it allows your people to see your email at a different time of the day. So I just kind of send my emails at different times of the days anyways, because you never know who might open it later or earlier or whatever. So we're gonna click save and continue. And then it's gonna bring us into the next page, which is where you're going to be setting up your subject line and all those details. So here's the campaign details. So we have the campaign name. And a lot of times what I like to do is I like to name the campaign the same thing that I named the subject of the email. Now here's why. When you're looking at your campaign results, you want to be able to see what the subject of your email was so that way you can compare your opens and see which ones got better opens and which ones got better clicks. And that gives you an idea for tracking. So I recommend using the same name uh, for the subject as you do the campaign name. You do it however you want. That's just what I do. Now, the who is it from, I have some updating to do with mine, so I don't want it to show my business name, I want it to show my name. You wanna be personable, you wanna be able to help your subscribers feel like you are talking to them, not just some entity, right? As far as the tracking options, I would definitely leave the track opens on. The UTM tags would be to add parameters to like URLs to track like traffic and web analytics and things like that. It's up to you if you wanna do that. I don't use that because that's not what I'm tracking right now, but you can. And then of course the language that you want it to be in. And then once you go to the next page, you're gonna get into email design. Now you can see I have a few templates already. We're just gonna go with the simple template. I don't need to do anything fancy. All right, so here we are on the email editor. Now this is just a typical drag and drop editor. So I can drag these boxes over here like this and I can put them back if I want. I can switch the blocks over on the left side and I can check the different ty types of blocks. So if I wanna click on like gallery, for example, I can have different galleries. If I wanted to click on content, that gives me like titles and text and links and images. And so I already have this template that has a text box here, 
but I'll show you a way that we can add a couple different things. So for the text box, once you click on the text box, it's actually gonna open up on the right side. So what you're gonna do is you wanna go in here and add your text. So here we are adding some text to this email. Hope you like it. Sincerely. And then I've got my signature there. So one of the things you'll see here is as you type on the right side, you can see it show up in the body of the email and it'll go from there. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit save. And then let's say I wanna put a picture in of myself. So I'll go grab this picture block and just drag this over and you can see it highlights where it's gonna drop in with the other blocks. So we're just gonna put it in there. And then when I click on this, it'll bring up the image on the right side. And if you click on that, it'll say browse and it's gonna bring up your file manager. So if you have pictures, you know, then you're already ready to go. I'm just going to pick the picture of my family. And anytime you add a picture, and let's actually make, let's make this a little smaller. So down in the corner here, it's kind of hard to see here, but there's this little lines down here and we can just make that smaller like that. And then I could even in here, I can go to settings. I can do the alignment and go to the left if I wanted to. You know, I can do top and bottom padding to give it some more space on the top and bottom. I can do the width edge to edge, or I can say default, and then it'll, you know, put it here like a default view. Or I can say custom, and then I can do custom width. So I can say how wide I want it to be. So that's helpful too. And then back on the content, I always recommend putting an alt text in your image in case it doesn't show up. So we can just say Shoner family picture, hit save. And then if you wanna put a link there, you could. I'll do one, I'll put our website. And then once you save that, now it saves the picture and it's good to go. So pretty simple right there. Now, when you hit done editing, one of the things that you're gonna see right away is it's gonna bring you back to this view here. And then it's gonna ask you, where do you wanna send the email? And so in this one here, you can see I've got some you know, subscribers here. I have my newsletter group. I have my all-in-one digital business group. I've been testing a segment, segment of people who haven't opened or clicked. And so that's kind of you know the amount of people here that haven't done any sort of opens yet. And so if I go into advanced, we then have a few other options so I can do like a filter. So I could say, you know, I want to send it to people who sign up source was only, you know, we'll say is, and then added manually or something like that. Or maybe wanted to use like email equals, and then, you know, we could put in jmshonerlive.com, right? Like you could, you could send it to whoever you want to do, but for basic, you know, what I would do is I would just go through and I would pick one of your subscriber sets. So I have different groups and segments here, and that's because that's what I've been using, but you have to pick something. Now I'm just going to pick escape plan. You're going to see it says zero recipients and it's not going to let me select that one because it's not going to anybody. So that's where I could say, okay, I'm going to go to all, you know, the all in one business and escape plan or uncheck escape plan, however you want to do it. And then when you click next and go to review, it doesn't just automatically send it. It's going to ask you to review everything and confirm. So here it's just showing the subject, the sender, the language. And then what's nice too, is it gives you these edit buttons right here. So if you forgot one thing, like let's say maybe you forgot to update the sender information, you can click on edit info and it'll go in here. If you miss something in the email, you'll click on edit content and it'll go into the email. Or if you wanna edit who it's going to, you can do that right here. And then on the last page, it's gonna give you the opportunity to schedule it. And it's gonna give you options on send now, send later, or send delivery based on time zones. Now this is a really cool feature here. And this is something that others do have as well. But I, I like the way that they do this because you can say, okay, I wanna send it on, let's say on Sunday, because they said it has to be 24 hours in advance. So say we wanna do it on Sunday, and then we wanted to do maybe 8 a.m. in the morning. So what that means is that it's gonna drop your email at 8 a.m. for wherever their location is, 
and that allows you to be able to get in their inboxes at the time that you set that on here. So like if you have something that's time sensitive or if you tell somebody, I'm gonna send you an email at 7 a.m. and they're waiting for it and it doesn't show up, this is a great way to make sure that you can be accountable for that stuff. Now, I'm not gonna schedule this right now because I don't want to send this out to my list. This is just for the video purposes, but you've got the gist of it. That's how you set up an email campaign. Now, there is a question on automated campaigns. Now, you can schedule these out like I showed you in there, and it'll give you the option to send later, and you can schedule it out how you want to do it. But if you wanted to do some sort of like autoresponder automated campaign, I'm going to be bringing out a video here pretty soon that's going to show you that information. So stick around my channel because you're going to want to know how to do that. It is a little different than some of the others. And I hope you liked the video. I hope it was valuable for you. If it was, please drop me a like and a subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified when I bring out more content and have yourself a wonderful day.